And on this week's In Focus, an elementary school library has been attracting more visitors than usual. A mural artist is there to paint a story, and our Brenda Mack has more. Look at the pictures. They're so pretty cute. What's I think I could just jump in there and get... Stroke after stroke after stroke, a sketch on the paper comes to life in Eagleville Elementary just in a matter of days. It was really cool when I first walked in. I was really surprised at how fast he works. This is the second mural out of four planned for the library, and students come in to peek on the process every chance they get. Animals have like little babies for them to read to. Look at his creations. The idea was to, uh, to have animals to promote reading, uh, to make it kind of look like the illustrations out of a children's book. The blank book covers also sparked imagination and curiosity among kids. Yeah, the kids were saying, well, what book are they reading? And I thought, I kind of like it that it's left open so the kids can kind of decide. So they can see the book and wonder, oh, I wonder what the bears are reading. The idea behind this has been a decade-long plan by one teacher. And she says this is a nice finishing touch to her career. I happen to be retiring this year after 26 years. Seeing something that I like to have accomplished and to be able to accomplish, that, um, I'm just very happy. I had them draw and maybe list little things they liked. The kids feel that this is part of their mural and that was so important. The Same. teacher and says this is exactly what she envisioned for the students. It's going to be really fun to read and like just read in here and chill out because there's so many cool things to look at and stuff. And she's happy yeah, knowing we'll she helped yeah. foster a fun learning environment. If the mural makes them stay a little bit, makes them read a little bit more, makes them check out more books, makes this an atmosphere that makes it so welcoming for them, that's, that's its purpose. That's its purpose. In Pequot Lakes, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.